Over the last few years, I've launched five art competitions, and now the incredible art from those competitions has a home. Soul Arts, a beautiful tome, carefully crafted and full of art inspired by Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. To be clear, the book has no official link to these games, but that's exactly what makes the art within it so creative. These artists imagined places, bosses, and weapons that have never been visualized before, expanding the worlds that we love in an exceptional way. Go beyond the Sixth Archstone and read about the twisted city where the weaver gently distorts the world. Or skip ahead to the unseen lands where artists brought to life regions that we never got to see in-game. Few would have seen this piece from the Imagining Bloodborne 2 competition, which depicts Carol's terrible fate. Nor this piece of prosthetic art, where Sekiro becomes equipped with a pivoting greatsword. Then there's the chapter for Elden Ring, with bosses and open worlds drawn from a time where we knew absolutely nothing about the game. So we'd be honored if Soul Arts could earn a place on your bookshelf or coffee table. This Kickstarter is a real leap of faith, but with your help, I know that we can create something that you will come to treasure. Here's a preview of your reward tiers. A digital edition, a cover art poster by Ricardo Amike, the art book itself, the art book with a slipcase, an art exhibition bundle featuring a collage poster, the benefactor bundle where your name will be listed at the back of the book, and a signed edition from me. I'll be back at the end of the video, but for now, I'm going to pass over to Jason, our publisher, who is going to explain things in a bit more detail. Hi everyone, this is Jason from Tune and Fairweather. Let me tell you about Soul Arts. <laughs> this is the most ambitious project that we have worked on to date. We always try to push ourselves with each new project. And with this one, we're going into a much larger format, uh, 10 inches by 12 inches. This is a giant book. It's gonna be unmissable. 256 pages of vibrant, full-color artwork, uh, dozens of different artists, lots of different styles. You are not going to get bored <laughs> flipping through this book. Um, every page is uh, a new, unexpected uh, fever dream you know, inspired by the games of From Software. You're going to love it. It's been so much fun to work on. There are so many unique styles represented. We have there's pixel art, there is lush, colorful digital painting techniques on show, uh, there are grim, hyper-realistic um, character concepts. And so to not just have those inspiring visuals, but also have it in a lavish, uh, physical, tangible form is really important to us. Uh, we want to honor the artists that are part of this book and honor this series with, with something that is collectible that's going to stand the test of time. And so one of the new challenges uh, that we're taking on with this project is to not just deliver a beautiful book, but to have a gorgeous protective slipcase to house your investment. This is custom designed by our art director, Andrew Hind. We created a die cut uh, viewing portal in the front of the slipcase so that you get this keyhole glimpse of, of Ricardo Emig's um, cover art, which we're referring to as Canvas of Souls, since uh, you have this abstraction of all of these different artists jostling and to draw their own unique vision onto this um, ethereal canvas. The design finishes on this book are absolutely immaculate. Um, from the moment you turn the front cover open and you're confronted with the metallic gold uh, end paper design, uh, you can already start seeing symbols that are custom designed to match each one of the five art contests. And so they each uh, you know, create this constellation when they all fit together. So because of the um, ambitious nature of this project, we want to work with a print partner uh, that we have a lot of trust with. And so we're working with uh, Conti Tipicolor again. They were the printer based in Florence, Italy that helped us bring You Died to life. And 
we threw everything at them. We did four different versions of that book and they absolutely nailed every single piece of it. So we feel very confident that, that they will help us deliver uh, to the absolute highest standard with this particular project. And we've already been in touch with them even ahead of the campaign to start showing them some of the target visuals. And they are very excited about it and can't wait to get going. We've got lots of fun rewards uh, to offer as part of this campaign. We realize that the physical version of Soul Arts is a big financial investment. So we're happy to be offering a digital edition at a lower price that is high resolution, DRM free, no shipping cost. So it's a great option if you want to enjoy Soul Arts but aren't quite ready to back at a higher tier. We have not one, but two different art prints this time. One, a larger format version of the cover artwork for you to display on your wall. And then the idea for the second print, which is a design showcase, is to take the book and distill it down so that you get a kind of gallery exhibition within the confines of that frame. And we're really proud of how this one turned out. So we hope you like it. If you'd like to have your name immortalized in the acknowledgement section of Soul Arts, have a look at the Benefactor Bundle. Um, that's a way of us being able to thank uh, some of our more generous contributors uh, for helping us bring this project to life. And then for people who have been following Vati's work for years and want to have his personalized touch uh, featured in their book, we're going to have uh, signed nameplates that you'll be able to affix to the end papers of the book and have been designed to fit perfectly in that space, complemented by the, the you know, metallic gold background there. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again to all of the artists represented in this book. We hope you are proud of the way that we've showcased your art, and we think this will be an absolute essential uh, collectible for anybody who loves the games of From Software and feels that inspiration well up when they play them. You cannot look through this book without feeling the incredible, overwhelming sense of love and appreciation that the artists uh, represented here have for these games, and it just oozes off every page. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us before we're able to finalize the layout of Soul Arts and send it to the printer. So we're targeting early 2022 for the shipping of the physical edition, and the digital edition will go out ahead of that as soon as it's ready. So you'll have that to tease you as you're awaiting the finished product. Share the campaign with a friend. We need your support uh, to make this happen. If you want to go on this journey with us, um, we would love to have you. And uh, thanks for being part of this. We really appreciate you. Bye. I have my two copies of Jason's book, You Died, here. And I'm just so excited at the prospect of having a book that looks and feels as good as this one. Jason put a lot of work into this book, and it shows. He and I both believe strongly in having a few really special things that you can collect and treasure. It's better to have a few things that bring you a lot of joy rather than a lot of things that don't, right? For me personally though, just bringing soul arts into existence will bring me a lot of joy. Because whenever I released an art competition video, there were always tons of artists who just missed out on being featured and having to make those decisions tormented me. The video would have had to be hours and hours long to include everyone and Video isn't the best medium for presenting artwork, it just isn't, but a book is, and with this we'll be able to feature new artists and move away from the competition aspect so that we can just focus purely on the art and the narratives that are being presented. And of course, most artworks submitted did come with gameplay descriptions and a story sometimes as well. So I've taken that text and those stories and I've faithfully rewritten every single entry so that every entry sounds consistent between pages because every artist writes differently and now it's all being rewritten through my hand so it can also fit the page perfectly as well. When necessary, I'm also expanding upon these stories with writing of my own. And it's my hope that each page will read like a short prepare to cry story. So 
if you're a fan of the channel, I think you're going to love that aspect. So there have been five competitions, and across those competitions, winning artists have already received their share of $10,000 in total. Now, while 99% of artists that I contacted for the book gave me permission to include their art without any mention of payment or a fee, I've decided to also split another 10k of my own money for every artist that was shortlisted for the book. That money is already sent, and it's theirs to keep, even if their artwork isn't chosen for the final book, or even if the project doesn't get funded for whatever reason. Paying artists properly is really important to me, and the book has made that possible. And if the project does get funded, then the publisher has also committed to shipping a free copy to all included artists as well. Of course, names of included artists will be presented alongside their entries, and links to their portfolios will be found at the end of the book for anyone keen to seek them out and commission them or send them job offers. So, as you can probably tell, this is a book with no compromise, because I strongly believe that the art is worthy of that. I'm aware that doesn't come cheap, but you get what you pay for, and I hope that you can join me in supporting this Kickstarter before the campaign ends. If this is a success, then it will also help to fund future art competitions so that we can make the Souls art community the strongest of them all. Thank you, as always, for your support. It means everything to me.